Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This is one of our belief cards by Chuck Knox. Always have a plan and believe in it. Nothing good happens by accident. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 57, NASDAQ off 37, S&Ps off uh, 3. Gold contract down $24, trading at 1,198 an ounce. Silver down 70 cents at $16.35 an ounce. Platinum down 23 at 1,208 an ounce. Copper off five and a half pennies at 288 a pound. Light sweet crude down 235, $55.46 a barrel. Bonds, we have the 10 year. Down 10.6, 127.07, 30 year off four at 145.02. King dollar up 65 ticks at 88.66. The euro is down 24, 124.34. And the yen is down one at 117.67. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have out here? S&P right now, we're at 1992. Um, we got to uh, 1982 out here today. You're in the lower trading range, folks, meaning that you come back underneath the break top side from September. This is going to go after the October 15th swing point. Now, the low of the swing point is 1820 on the cash S&P. I suspect we're going to get right into that. Why? Because what you already have at, at the FTSE 100 in Europe, okay, she is already jamming right into that uh, baby, and uh, she has some juice as she's going into it. Dow Industrials. We go over to the Dow Industrials. What you have with the Dow is this. Dow Industrials are down 45 bucks. Not that that's a lot, but guess what? You get a little doji happening, or a large doji, actually. The spread in the Dow Industrials today, a uh, high was 17,403. The low was 17,115. So you can see that you almost had a 200, well, you did have a 275 point spread out here today. Uh, bottom line, the Dow Industrials, well, all the markets, folks, were up this morning. But all they were doing, I'll show you, is that they were doing a counter trend bounce into the downdraft that had been created on Thursday afternoon. NASDAQ Composite. Now, what you have with the Composite? Composite also is down 34 bucks. You get the volume behind the move. Uh, the Composite's going to do some big numbers out here volume wise. Thus far, we're already at 1.655. That's saying that the NASDAQ composite is going to come in with about 2.2, uh, 2.3 billion shares on the way down. The composite right now is 46.20, and uh, 46.10 will get it back into the, the lower range, which will go after that September, October 15th swing point of 4116. That's a big number down, man. That's pretty intense because that's 500 points from where we are, um, at which is 9%. Gold contract, we go over to gold, they hit gold, uh, well, they were hitting it all day. Uh, bottom line, they hit it about an hour after the actual pit was closed. You had fast price destruction. The volume's not behind the move. This is what you have. You're down $24, you're 1197, you're coming into the December 9th sign of strength. That's where we had 241,000 contracts, you're 138 there. You're also coming into the sign of strength that was developed on December 1st. That was 342,000 contracts. Um, they got it going uh, on price, no doubt. The juice is not behind the move. If we take a look at the XAU and the HUI, both of those also are pulling back. Both of them are pulling back with lighter volume. They are coming into also the high bars of the low. That's, that's what they're doing right now. The XAU is at 64.93, and that is coming into the October 31st downdraft, uh, as well as the actual, the high of the low there is uh, 64.46. We haven't hit that point yet. That's the XAU. HUI, go look, take a look at the HUI. It's doing the exact same setup. HUI right now is down 8.56. Uh, Friday, uh, we came down with 21 million shares. That was going into 40 million. Uh, if we bring up a few of the, the equities, if I bring up AEM just to see the correlation, because you don't get the volume for the XAU and the HUI until uh, about 8 o'clock in the evening. So if we bring up uh, AEM and Equal Eagle, that's down buck 75. You're doing 2.1 million shares. That is coming into 5.3 million. If you look at uh, Gold Corp GG, 
that is coming down on 8 million shares and that's coming into 20 million shares. Now you, you, on Gold Corp, uh, there's no doubt that you need a rejection of uh, price here. Gold Corp is into that bar, meaning the downdraft bar. So uh, we'll see whether Gold Corp uh, can hold up. If we go over to Rango Resources, GLD, we take a look at GLD, that's down on 660,000 shares, and that's going into 2.2 uh, .2 million. That's, that's building cars to get into higher price. Oil market, we go take a look at oil. What we have with oil is this. The A to B equals C to D, $55. We hit 55.18 out here today. We have done 384,000 contracts thus far. Um, now, we take the continuous contract in oil. This is what you have. We bring this back. What you're going to see is this. The further that we get, I believe we're just touching the top of it right now. Let's see. And what I'm talking about, folks, is I'm talking about the top of 55 this year. So, okay. The continuous contract right now is at 55.42. The high of the October, uh, of the December 2008 lows was 54.62. We've hit 55.12. Right now, you're at 55.42. Um, we'll see whether it gets into that price point and what it does once it gets in there. I suspect it's going to go hit it. So from where we were at the low today, which is 55.18, another half a dollar, 50 cents down, will get it to the top of that bar. If you go into the top of that bar by a couple dollars, that is saying that oil can actually go to $32, which is absolute mind-blowing, no doubt. We take a look at some of the uh, commodities inside. You get crude oil down 3.9%. Silver's off 4.2%. Copper's are down 2 Gold's down 2 uh, Let's see. There it is. Gasoline. Unleaded. Unleaded gasoline right now is trading out at 158 uh, That What that's going to do, uh, that is going to basically put uh, gasoline at about uh, 220 um, in many places, which is just amazing. Bonds. Let's go to the bond market. Uh, bond market, folks, is still screaming that lower yield is coming, higher price in bonds. Uh, right now, uh, the 10-year has done 1.3 million contracts out here today. It hasn't held price. It got to 127.28. The high of October 15th is 129.28. That's what it's trying to do. But you have volume pushing into the last swing point. That was 1.4 million. We're going to end up doing uh, about 1.35 million. The 30-year bond, you take a look at the 30-year, what we have with the 30-year, and the 30-year has been the leader here in an extraordinary way. 30-year is really, is, is flat. We have at 145.04, we've done uh, 367,000 contracts. The high of October 15th is 146.16. We've hit 145.24 today. That baby's going to get hit. You know, we'll see whether it gets taken out. King dollar. What do we king dollar do? King dollar DXH5. King dollar on Friday uh, closed uh, five ticks below the, uh, on the weekly bar that, okay, that the high is in. Uh, what we have out here today, king dollar tried to get, up, get to 88.87. Couldn't hold that price. It's at 88.65 right now. King dollar is building cars to break down under this 87.45 area. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, when we take a look at the... There she is. When we take a look at the um, UK, this is important to wrap your head around, folks, because the UK is screaming that we're going down into October 15th. The UK is down 9.2% in six trading days. Uh, we are at 61.82. The high of the October 15th low bar is 62.82. You're already 100 bucks into that, baby. She's going to go after it, and she's going to go after it tomorrow morning. Bottom line, folks, UK is screaming that we're going to go down in that S&P into the 1820 bar. That's a long way. It's 170 points from where we are right now. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 59. Nasdaq's off 34. S&Ps are off two and a half. You stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary for Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls <laughs> now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. You get the uh, Dow Industrials down 72, NASDAQ off 37, S&Ps are off 4.5. And, and you can expect selling right into the close out here today, folks. Uh, when we were in Europe, uh, bottom line is that Europe got smoked. This is still nothing compared to what happened in Europe. Dow's only down 4 tenths of a percent. NASDAQ's off 8 tenths. S&Ps are off 4 tenths. Uh, the FTSE was off 1.8. The DAX was off 2.7 today, folks, okay? Uh, there's some catching up that's going to get done here coming into the close. Let's go to Tom in Tampa. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah, sure am. How about you? I am, thank you. Good. Hey, uh, can we take a look at the uh, January 17th calls on GLT, that 125 strike price? 
Let's take a look. Okay, so you get the GLD. The GLD, folks, is the uh, Street Tracks Trust. It trades at 10% of the price of gold. The low is 109. The high is 133. That's for this year. Uh, it's down 281 right now. 5.9 million shares. Uh, you have 5.9 million right now going into 15 million and going into 14 million. Um, the volatility is out here in spades, not only in the market, but in the gold market and the silver market. And what you have, so let's go over to the contract for a second, because this is important to wrap your head around, folks, okay? Fast price destruction without volume equals how lows get made. Uh, what we have out here today, we've done 139,000 contracts. You're going under the sign of strength from the 9th, and the 9th, I think it was 234 we had. Yeah, 241. You're going into the monster sign of strength from December 1st. So that, and then you're, you're running into the, another sign of strength from November 14th. Um, the pit itself closed at 130, folks, and this is uh, this is selling. There's no two ways about that. Okay, you had uh, that the first sell came in at uh, 1430, and that was 6,000 contracts. That brought it down from uh, 1204 to 1195. The next, then you had a little bounce to 1199. I just brought it down to 1193. Bottom line is that fast price destruction with light volume going at the center strength, staying gold still wants higher price. Now, Tom is looking at the January 125s. I think that's a, a stretch in it, Tom. Um, let me just pull this because you're going to be out of the money quite a bit here. So, right now. I see interesting 125s. Jan You're talking about the January 125s, right? Right. <clears throat> yeah, January 2, uh, 2015. Okay, let me put this up. Sure, yeah, so, well, I see what you're saying. Okay, so you have a high volume spike at 118. You have, let's see. So you got, it's always, folks, it's always the third Friday in the month that, oops, so let's see what we got here, that's the 16th, that's going to be too close, Tom, the reason being is this, right, so watch this, what we have, folks, is this, January 1st is on a Thursday, so realistically, after this week, Tom, mm -hmm. there's no, uh, let's put it this way, there's going to be flat trading until the 5th. That would only be giving you really 10 days, even though at this particular point, I know that we're only on December 15th, and it looks like you get a lot of time. Um, I would either go out, yeah, I'd go out another month, that's what I'd do. And I wouldn't put them on until you see a rejection here of, well, you only need about a rejection of 15 cents right now. We're at 114.62. The high of the November 14th area is 114.72. You'd like to see a rejection right there. Okay. That's, I'd the, wait. Um, I'm sorry. I'd wait for that rejection. Okay. Hey, you got time for one uh, one other one? One sure. one? Sure. FAZ, the weeklies. Um, is it too late to get out on that uh, 1220? FAZ, right? Right. Okay, FAZ, folks, is a 300% inverse correlation of the banking index, the XLE. Uh, that thing is moving higher with, uh, the XLF, rather, sorry. Uh, that is moving higher with volume. If we go to the XLF, uh, the XLF is breaking a swing today. So uh, you're not in it yet, and you're looking to get in it, right? No, uh, you're right, right. So what I would do is I would wait for some fast counter-trend bounce, because you'll get it, you know. Um, and it was, it's probably going to be intraday that you're going to get it, though. And I'd look for the XLF to go to, if you could get the XLF, Tom, up to 24.26, that's where you can okay. lay it on. Okay. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, as I just gave Tom the 24.26, now watch this, folks. This is what the market has been doing. I'm going to bring up the... Uh, S&P on a 10-minute basis, so you can see what markets love to do um, when they're doing just counter-trend bounces. Uh, you have a 10-minute 
Wait, I'm on a two-day chart with a 10-minute basis. What we had is that at 15.50 on Friday, you did 66,000 contracts. Uh, 200, uh, 10 was the 20016 actually, is where it started going down. Um, monster contracts, what we di did uh, at 940, you got up to 2019 with 21,000 contracts. So your correlation is 21,000 contracts versus 66,000. Gave it up in spades. And then when you had the counter trend bounce today up to 1250, that's all it was doing. It was 11,000 contracts versus the 66,000 contracts. There's monster sellers in this marketplace, folks, and you're going to see them constantly. They're going to be coming in. It's fast. It's furious. This market right now is just hitting these numbers, and it's hitting them left and right. And uh, they're sucking people in in an extraordinary way. And all you have to do is go to Europe and look at these markets. Okay, it's like if you don't think we're going to follow Europe, all these markets are correlated. Europe uh, got smoked. Let's go to John in Austin, Texas. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, buddy, I have no idea. How about you? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's pretty good, man. I like that. <laughs> hey, man, uh, I want to look at GFI, if you don't mind, please. Okay, so you get GFI. This is gold fails. Uh, the low is 292. The high is 494. It's trading down 18 cents right now. You're at $4.10. Now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it. I'm scaling in. I'm down probably 5 6% right now. Okay. So you have, first off, you're at 410 and wants to trade to 494. So you have the swing point up there from October 20, I mean, uh, August 29th. You come off the bottom of 311. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay. So on a weekly, the bottom of that is 376. So what to do is this. 376, yeah, you know, we'll see whether it makes it a 376, but 376 to 395 would be the number, John. And where I'm going with that is this. 376 is the bar, folks, from November 21st. We went from 376 to 450, and we turn around, we put this on a daily basis, and what you see is that we're at 5.6 million shares, and you're coming at the 7.8. It's not bad, but it's not that great either. So that's saying that, yeah, it can get lower. So, yeah, I just wait until that level on, on a, a weekly basis. Okay, buddy. Let me, if you don't mind, can I ask you another question? Yeah, about, about stay right there. Absolutely, man. Thanks, buddy. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials are down 86. NASDAQ's up 45. S&Ps are up 6.5. You're going to see more selling. Come in as this close, folks. Coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
synchronization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're talking with uh, John from Austin. What's going on, John? Hey, buddy. You know, I'm looking at a, a weekly chart of, uh, you know, it's, it's any gold stock, any, you know, silver stock. You know, and it goes back to 09. You know, and there was, you know, made money in June. June in October, and then in April, and then it had that little bitty, uh, you know, uptrend in November. But the the, the question that I want to ask you, because you invented this gold market, you know, I, uh, you know, but there is what is the precedent that you've seen where you've been in this gold market for 12 years of where it's gone now? Just like AEM hit 2952 on 1031, and it's, there's higher volume for the last I don't know couple of three, three weeks or so but it can't get back up to that price and it's almost down to you know to 22 and some change what you've seen what is the precedent that you've seen for this what do you think may happen well what you have is this okay so first off to answer your first question has the destruction been like this for that long um 
on a long basis, I'd say no, absolutely no. But in that context, the run up to the highs, like in gold period, were extended beyond belief, okay? So you have the downdraft. Now the second part of your question, how long can you stay down here? We've stayed down here in 2006, it did the same thing. And it drove people crazy from April of 2006 going all the way over to uh, August of 2007. Really? That's yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's the market. So, so here, so let's bring up a few more stocks. Watch, I'll show you something. If you bring up Harmony right now, right? Harmony today, folks, is down two cents, but it actually it pushed higher, has volume. That's saying Harmony's going to be right back up to 179. You did 9.7 million shares today. If I go over to IAG, you take a look at IAG, it's done the same thing. Got to a price point of uh, 282, you're at 235. You get some destruction happening, but guess what? You have a higher high into that swing point with volume. So. But you know. how can they? But how can they make that with? Because just like you talk about, you know, we had like three hundred thousand contracts. You know, the the gold had that massive move after the whoever you know didn't uh, pass that in uh, Swiss or whatever that deal was. But the gold made that massive move, but it can't get back up. It can't move up, and it seems like it's moving down. How does that change? Hey, you know, my take, uh, okay, is that gold's already bottom. You know, and this is how gold likes to trade. It. It's volatile, it's vicious, and you know, like this downdraft right here. Since I've been on the air, we've only done the 10,000 contracts in the gold market, but yet, you know, they could whack in another $5. That's, that's just how it goes, that's how a trade's done. Okay, do you, do you still scale into this stuff that you're in when it's down here? You scale in, so let's go back to your GFI, right? And if we go to the GFI, what the GFI has to do is that you want a rejection of that price, man. Okay. Before you bite any more, right? Okay, you get down to do it. And it's the same with AEM. I'm going to scale in some more with AEM. So wait for that 22 and some change. With AEM, what you're going to do? Or with AEM, you're going to have to be careful here because we're at 22.30, 22.20 is the number. The volume is light, but you need a you need a you need a rejection of price right now. And how long do we have? We get 24 minutes. You need a rejection of price, man. Okay. Okay, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank have you so much. Have a great one, man. Have, have a safe one. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. John Logan. And John kicks us off every trading day right here at TFNN, 8 to 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. John also has a, a great scanner. It's the a Taz Profile Market Scanner. Um, absolutely awesome. In fact, I'm going to pop it on the screen right now, and we're going to take a look at this baby. John Logan, what's going on? Hey, Tom, good to be back with you. Good to be back in the good old USA, too. I heard. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> yeah, it was a heck of a flight back over. It was five legs and uh, took the uh, scenic route. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty intense, man. And I'm glad every you know, you're know you all right. I mean, because I know that uh, the typhoons over there were pretty amazing, right? Yeah, I was, I was joking with you last time. They, sh they should... Uh, they should have on the news when there's not a typhoon, not when there is a typhoon. That's how often they are over there. Yeah, totally, man. They've, they've had about, uh, I think, 15 or 16 named typhoons this year come across the Philippines. It's wow. been crazy. Wow. Yeah. So, so as, uh, as we're took, taking a look, I mean, the, the bottom line is that uh, you just heard that, uh, you know, one of, I know you're joking, but one of our uh, tigers down in Austin, Texas, figured that, yeah, I invented the gold market. That's kind of like Al Gore invented the, the Internet, right? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> no. But in that context, um, the breadth of the market, okay? So, well, folks, if you haven't test drove the profile scanner yet, come over to our website at TFNN, and you can test drive it right on the front page. You can test drive it one month absolutely free because this scanner uh, is not only dynamic, but it updates on a continual basis all day long. So, yes. talk to me. Yes. Uh, well, you know, we had our crossover. If, if, if people are looking at the screen, there's uh, four dials up there. There's a, yes. a weekly, a daily, a 240, and a 60-minute dial. Um, the daily, you know, I mean, we talk about <clears throat> breadth, and we've, we've got a really cool webinar we did for you last week. Big and if time. People going, yeah, people go get a trial of the scanner. They'll get access to that uh, archive of the webinar. That's right. And um, you have it for 30 that, days, folks. Okay, so jump on. Yeah, and so we talked a little bit about what the 
the speedometers, if you will, the breath yes. meters that people see, what they mean. Um, we talk a little bit about how to use the scanner, what the power of the whole thing is. In, in my opinion, it's kind of a it's kind of a culmination of a lot of the things that that we've done over the years put into this scanner to that basically will help people drill down into the marketplace the uh, in, in the, into about 2500 different instruments across about 15 exchanges that will hopefully tr- you know find some ripe trading opportunities um, and, and not you know have to really waste a lot of time trying to find those opportunities so there's there's two parts to it there's a scanner that really allows you to find those opportunities and then there's the breadth on quite a few different of those marketplaces the S&P 500 being one of them the yes. Shanghai Singapore the Nasdaq that gives you the internals of the marketplace relative to our profiles and I said a lot there it's kind of all in the webinar if you get a trial but I know well, you did that wait, webinar at the perfect time too, man. You know, seriously. Oh man, yeah. We were, we were talking about, and I kind of look at the dailies and the weeklies to to figure out when market turns are really happening. Yes. <laughs> and those speedometers at the top. We had our daily crossover happen between December 9th and December 10th. And what I'm doing is I'm just showing a, a back testing chart on my end. And showing a date there when that crossover happened. Yes. So the, between the ninth and the tenth, we had the breadth turn from positive to negative. All right, and I'm showing an admin terminal right now uh, chart so people can see that crossover right there, the ninth to the right. tenth. And the last time we had that cross back over was the seventeenth of October to the twentieth. So the breadth turned positive, basically on an intermediate basis, going back in time around the October 17th, 20th area. And then we had the breadth turn negative on the 9th, 10th of December area. So what that does for me, it puts an, it puts an extra added slant onto the ability to trade stocks from the long side or short side that eliminates one side of the marketplace for me. So yes. right now, I'm looking at the short side of the marketplace being the index itself and trying to trade stocks also from – the weak side so therefore if i'm looking at high beta stocks and and you talk about that all the time you know what are the stocks that generally trade with the marketplace i'm trying to use that breadth angle to try to help me not only trade the index but also trade individual stocks so if i'm looking you know at the breadth now i'm looking for you know what what stocks are what stocks does the scanner actually pick out that are hanging in there for the long side but what stocks does the scanner also pick out that are hanging that are showing you know weakness that I can take advantage big of on dogs. the short side. Yeah, yeah. big dogs. Yeah. So, right. so it covers a lot of bases for you, um, and the internals really are you know comprise what the breadth is. So we look at all the S and P five hundred stocks, put them into you know a, you know kind of a meat grinder or whatever, yes. and figure and figure out you know where all those stocks are relative to. Are, is the market itself balanced or imbalanced right now relative to fair auctions? And we get into all this in the webinar. But, um, you know, right now there's an imbalanced marketplace on an intermediate time scale to the short side. Um, and that means that, you know, everything we just said from the short side, we got to be looking at selling rallies right now. Now, the weekly – Still is stills hanging in there positive right now. Okay. I mean just just barely. So the long term trend by definition and, and if if we can I'm gonna pull up my chart here real quick. I'm gonna go to our S and P's. Yes. And and this is this is the really, really cool thing here. Um I'm gonna pull up my March S and P five hundred chart. All right. So as you can see, the weekly now I've got an e signal here. I'm using the weekly new fair auction is around 1968 unfair lows, and we're trading 1985 right now. Um, just, just stay with us for a second. A quick break. Okay. We'll come right back. Okay. 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 John Logan, okay. Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials uh, right now down 85. Nasdaq's down 40. S and P's are off uh, five bucks. We're going to be right back with John. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. 
While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a special sale for the Gold Report for a limited time only. To celebrate the 660th weekly issue of Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, that's more than 12 years, TFNN is having a special one-time sale. Right now, you can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report, that's 14 months, for only $600. We're offering Tom O'Brien's dynamic weekly newsletter at only $10 a week, half off the regular monthly price. By taking advantage of this special offer, you also get a signed copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday and provides subscribers with Tom O'Brien's expert commentary on the industry, as well as detailed information on a variety of mining equities. This offer is valid for current or new subscribers, but is only good through this week and ends this Sunday, December 21st. Lock in the low rate of only $10 a week for The Gold Report by placing your order at the front page of TFNN.com today. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.com. MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN.
Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 68. NASDAQ off 37. S&Ps are off uh, two and a half. And, folks, if you like to test drive the TAS profile scanner, just come over to our website at TFNN, and you'll be able to go right under newsletters. Just hit services. You can see it right there, the TAS profile scanner. If you do test drive that right now, you'll also get that webinar. Uh, is archived. You can uh, check it out for 30 days. We're talking with our man, Mr. John Logan, and right now we're talking about the markets, and we're talking about the uh, scanner and how basically it picks up uh, weak, strong. And yeah, we talked about that yesterday. We, he, you know, we tra he trades a lot of currencies, and um, you know, we've been talking about some of the best trades on the books for God, man, just yes. the past couple of years has, has been the currencies, and right. uh, you know, the euro is just you know kind of been the gift that keeps on giving. Um, but you know, we've had some volatility lately, and uh, you know, I'm looking at some of the currencies right now. And, uh, yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, the ruble just fell apart, man. That's pretty intense. Oh my man. God! Yes, that that thing. You know, he's been in Moscow for a while, um, back and forth. Okay. And you know, he he has said nothing other than, from a fundamental standpoint, that that ruble was probably going to sixty. I haven't checked on where it was. Where it, it broke. Went to today. It broke sixty four today. Sixty four. Oh Folks, that that is insanity. That means that. I believe that would mean in the last four weeks, I think the currency has lost like 17% just in four weeks. Never mind, uh, it's more than that. They're down like some, let me see if I can find it. It's an outrageous number. That's the bottom line. I mean, and just picture something, folks. If you had a thousand, a million dollars or even a thousand dollars, all of a sudden you have $600. That's, so it's pretty intense. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Um, yeah. But, so you know, right now, were... I'm looking, uh, let's see, we're looking at. Uh, what do we got? Hey, we had the S and P's up there, right? Sorry, yeah. Let, 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 me, let me go back to the S and P's because I was. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody's probably interested in where this thing's yes. going. It's, you know, I don't know how many cats out there trading a the ruble right now, but uh, no, exactly, <laughs> we, we, exactly. We, we, we've been we've been talking about ways to trade the ruble on the show every morning and every once in a while, and and uh, there's some ways to trade it. There's some, there's some you know good good trades you can get into into out of Brussels. Um, in Singapore for for trading the ruble that has some liquidity, but okay. uh, let's talk let's talk about the S and P's for a second because we talked about the breadth right before this yes. break being being negative on the intermediate, but they're still hanging in there on as the a weekly, positive right? On, on the weekly. So right now, what I'm showing is I'm showing the March contract on the S and P's. Yes, and the way this works is, um, you know, we've got these. You know what we call the fair the the fair auctions, and I'm showing on the charts the uh, information between the, the basically the red line and the green line, and what that means is that's what we feel like the market should be balanced by definition when price actions within that fair auction. These weeklies we've had some really w wide boxes lately, so to speak, w really wide profiles, but right now we had a new profile appear today. Okay, right? so today's Monday, I think it's Monday. Yeah, yeah. We're at today's money, and and we've got a new profile that's appeared. That's appeared, and and these unfair lows on this profile for March are 1968, and the unfair highs are 2071 on the weekly. So price action right now is about 1986.50. That means that we're within the fair auction still, and the weekly um, breadth, if you will. And I'm going back to my scanner here yes. for the breadth. The breadth is still positive, and the weekly inflection points long term, we're still hanging in there right above the latest inflection point. Which is concreted in; it won't change since 1968. So this is really, really interesting. Um, that you know, if you're if you're a long-term investor and you're you know, it's been uh, historically speaking for the last couple of years, you buy the dip on the index. Right. You've been right. Okay. It's yes. just You know, you've you, you, you've been right. Period. No. Yeah. Right. You've been right. right. Period. So 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 right now with the long-term breadth still positive. And you've got that inflection point sitting right there at 1968 on the March contract, and we've reached a low today of 1974.50. We've gotten close to it. We kind of bounced up about 12 or 13 minutes of peak points since that low. Um, by definition, um, we still haven't technically broken down yet. 
uh, below the 1968. Now, the last time we broke down was uh, around October 6, excuse me, October 9, 929, October 6. We actually got a really good second sell signal on September 19th, as you remember. We had our breadth turn negative there, and then we were selling it, selling inflection points. Okay. Right? Selling, selling, selling resistance, selling breakouts on the downside. Sure. Then we had that breadth turn positive around 1017 as we just talked about. So we were short September 19th down into October 17th, and then long October 19th up into December 9th, December 10th, right? So we've, we've had a nice rolling, you know, get long or get short effect by the breadth, and the long-term breadth being still positive is basically meaning that, you know, on a very long-term basis, the weekly, we probably should still be buying dips, um, okay. but we do, we haven't reached that inflection point in 1968 yet. Okay. That be, that being said, let's take a look at our daily chart, Tom, because you'll love this. I mean, you will. I know what you like, and you'll love this. Um, here's the December 9th area, right? We started yes. breaking. Here's the 10th. Here's that inflection point on the daily. 2051 or 52 on this March contract. So at that moment on an intermediate basis, and this is the intermediate time frame of the daily, it was okay to sell resistance there, which means sell the 2052. And look at that come back and kiss it right there wow. on the 11th, providing a, an insane, yep. crazy good Just trading opportunity. Right. Yeah, and now we're still breadth negative on that intermediate, which means we probably should trade this down into that 1968 area. Um, and then if this breadth is still positive on the weekly, we've got a great opportunity at 1968, more than likely to start, try to still pick a bottom there um, if our breadth is still uh, positive on our long term. The good news is also if, is as I pull the scanner back up, you really don't need to spend a lot of money on the charting packages and all that kind of stuff. And we, This scanner has killed our indicator business because it basically gives you a lot of the information sure. without really – so there's the there's the 1968 as I mouse over the cell yep. for the S and P's. There's the 2050, 190, 2052 inflection point it gives you on the scanner there. And as you can see, we've got red across the board, except on our long term weekly, we're we're still within the fair auction, which is great. Um, so you know this thing gives you a lot of information. It gives you a little snapshot chart here of the level of the marketplace real time and then there's that inflection kind of custer's last stance if you will at 1968 on the s and right and the way there. it can test drive it folks come over to our website at tfn go to newsletters then go to services you hit services you're going to see the taz market profile scanner right there you can test drive it 30 days if you test drive it 30 days right now you can also uh see john's and, and listen to john's archive uh that was up that'll be up there for 30 days john you have a great night safe night glad, glad you're back in the states and look forward to the show tomorrow my pleasure, Tom. Good okay. to talk to you again. Stay right there, folks. Right. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, yeah. during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This uh, card is by Corey Yamada. Believe in the magic of tomorrow and your spirits will be lifted on the wings of hope. There's no hoping for the market, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. The Dow Industrial's down 99, Nasdaq off 48, SP's off 6.5, gold contract down $29, trading at 1,193 an ounce. Silver off 88 cents at, at $16.17 an ounce. Platinum down $22 at $1,012.08 an ounce. Copper down 5.5 pennies at, at uh, $2.89 a pound. Light sweet crude off $2.62 at $55.18 a barrel. Bonds, we had the 10 year down 7 ticks, 127.10. Refuses to back off. 30 year down 2 ticks, 145.04. Also refuses to back off. Bonds want higher price 
lower yield. King dollar up 105 ticks at 88.70. The euro down 26 at 124. And the yen up one, uh, down one at 117.17. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We are at it 1989 on the S&P, the cash S&P. Cash S&P, folks, wants to go down to 1820. 1820 is the first step. That is the October 15th swing low. That's, that's your shorter term price target. Longer term price target has a real problem here, and this is what it is. Uh, we had broken the long-term trend in October. We broke it with conviction. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's when the cash S&P went from 2019 down to 1880 and 1820. Then what it did is got right back inside the channel. Uh, it took all of uh, basically 10 trading days. It rejected the 1820 price. We jumped right back on top of the channel jumps up to 2018 gets all the way a price point of 2079 then what do we do guess what last week you broke the channel once again with volume what does that set up folks that sets up number one your test of the october 15th swing low it also puts in play the much larger 1400, 1380 S&P. It's a big number, folks. It's a monster number. Uh, I'm going to switch gears on you and just go over to the FTSE for a second because if you're long and strong, all you have to do is get your stops in. Just put them in, folks, okay? The FTSE today, well, first off, the FTSE in nine days, no, in seven days, let me see, one, two, three, in six trading days is down 9.2%. The, what the FTSE's closed at Buck 17 today, we're at 61.82. The high of October 15th was 62.82. You're already 100 bucks into it. The FTSE is going to go after this tomorrow, which is 6072. What does that say? That says our probability inside the S&P of going after it goes up dramatically. And we're a long way away from, if you think today was a bad day, we're a long way away from that uh, 1820 area. Uh, Percentage-wise, the Dow went down five tenths of a percent. S and P's went down four tenths. The Nasdaq went down one. In Europe, folks, the FTSE went down one point eight. The DAX went down two point seven two. Two big numbers in Europe across the board. That's the you know this Europe is accelerating on the way down. Nasdaq Composite. What do we have with the Composite? Composite is down a percent. Has the price spread, has a volume expansion. We did 2.12 billion on the NASDAQ. Right now, the composite also got inside the lower range. That's setting up. The composite wants to go after the October 15th swing low also. That's a long way down. You're talking about 400 points down, 500 points. And we went down 48 points today. So, big numbers. We go over to the SPY, you take a look at the SPY, so you see the volume, the volume correlation with it. We did 185 million today in the SPY. Monster volumes coming in all over the place. We did 202 million on Friday. Big numbers. We go to the three Qs, the NDX, uh, let's we'll look at the three Qs. Three Qs today come down to 52 million shares. It had made, a, just, to, just to bring you back, it had made a high, folks, with 17 million shares. Then it tested that high with 31 million. It comes down with 52. This thing is toast. It's going to be going, the Qs are going to be going after 90.24, and right now you're at 101.61. Gold contract. We go with gold. They whacked gold this afternoon, folks. Gold is down 29 bucks. Best, guess what, though? Wide price spread. No volume. So you had fast price destruction without, vo without volume. When you have fast price destruction without volume, you flip right around, you go back up the other side. We came down today, 29 bucks, 144,000 contracts. That's going at the 241,000 contracts and 342. That is saying gold wants higher price. If we take a look at a few of these equities, what you'll also see is this. IAG, IM Gold, went to a higher high, had 20 million shares, 
gave it up on price. We went from 282 to 233. You talk about volatility, man, in spades. However, what we did is that we did 20 million shares, taking out the swing point of 11 million shares. You do that, you go into higher highs. It, it actually also took out uh, all the October swings. Harmony did the same thing. Bonds. Bonds rejected lower price. But they just can't push bonds lower, folks. Uh, what's going to be uh, the 10 year today uh, was down 9.5, 3.9, 30-year mortgage. And I do expect what you're going to see is that uh, those rates are actually going to get even lower. Oil. What we had with the oil market is that oil is just... getting to the top of the 2008 low bar. Uh, this is going to be a big oil right now, and this is what it is. We're at 55.20.62. We got to 55.02. We're going to get now. If you get into that bar by like three dollars, we get the on this continuous contract. If you get to about 51, then you're going to see. I mean, oil is crashed anyway. But the bottom line, you'll see that get down to the 32 dollar level. It's it's a it's a disaster. Uh, it's a, it's fast. It's furious. And as I said uh, last week, it, it, inside the correlation, if you don't, you know, and then listen. There's no doubt we're going to save a fortune. But fast price moves like that dislocate lots of markets, just so you understand that. And inside the oil market, that correlation, if we brought that into the uh, Dow Industrials, that would, like, that would be the Dow Industrials going from 17,000 to 10,000 in all of four months, just so you can get that correlation and how fast and how furious that oil market has gone down. King Dollar. What King Dollar has done is this. King Dollar is hanging at those highs, struggling at those highs. Uh, we're at 88.57. What King Dollar had done last week is it closed five ticks under um, the high of last week, no, the, the prior week. That is saying King Dollar couldn't handle it. That's saying King Dollar is topped out, and we'll see where that shakes out. King Dollar hasn't broken down yet. What has broken down? Um, is IBM in an extraordinary way. Uh, IBM is down 232 today, 6.4 million shares. Uh, in three days, IBM has just gone from 163 to 153. Uh, IBM, folks, this is going to be a, a disaster in IBM. IBM is on its way to 116. 116 is screaming out here. As soon as it pierced that uh, 157 level, it's screaming. And, of course, the weighting structure inside the Dow Industrials is a big one because uh, IBM is not the, well, it was the top weighting still, but that was the third one taking the, the Dow down today. Uh, McDonald's was the laggard. That was down 216. You had Goldman Sachs down 328. Chevron was down 152. Putting juice into it was Boeing. That's a dead cat bounce. That's already got smoked. That was up uh, 131. Exxon Mobil was up 30 cents. Ma Bell was flat. Um, you know, if you, if you go over and take a look at Boeing, Boeing's another one that absolutely got sliced and diced. Uh, Boeing went from 135 down to 120, and Boeing's also screaming. Boeing's al already into its swing low from October 15th. Um, it's a heads up, folks. Get your stops in. October 15th, here we come in the S&P. You stay right there. We're going to be coming back with our Tigress, Amy Smith from IBD. Dow Industrials closed down 99, Nasdaq off 48, S&P's off 850. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global 
financial perspective to help you manage it. Emma Bank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom? Take your phone calls now. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We had the uh, Dow finish down 99, NASDAQ off 48, S&P's off 850. And as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the second hour, we have our Tigress, Amy Smith from Investor Business Daily. And if you haven't test drove, whether it's the print edition, Investor Business Daily, or the Digital edition at Investors.com, the way you can do it, two weeks absolutely free, folks, is come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the right-hand side. Hit that banner. You can take your choice. Two weeks of getting the paper delivered to your front door and our two weeks right at the digitalinvestors.com. Amy Smith, what's going on? <laughs> I'll tell you what, today was one of those bouncy wouncy days. We we were down a hundred, we're back up a hundred, we you know, we recovered and then we sold off again. Uh, crazy market time. Crazy market, down on volume. Yeah, you know, it's funny. We we've had more heavy volume days since you and I talked last last Monday. Yes. And you know, the Nasdaq certainly do just look at a chart and if if you're dealing in personalities you know, it kind of looks like Sybil came into the picture here. It just looks a, a little bit different, 
uh, we have the S and P, you know, down below the 50-day. The Nasdaq's heading in that direction. Yes. So it, it, it's not pretty, and we, there's some leaders that are still holding up, but there's some that have had some nasty reversals today. We've kind of seen it as we run our screens throughout the day. You know, even you know, like a former leader like Tesla looks so bad now. We've talked about this before. Below the 50 and the 200. You know, everybody's darling Alibaba really kind of took a pretty tepid little bounce off a 50-day last week. So, you know, if that's a barometer for the overall market, I, I think it's just a time investors need to be a little careful here. Yeah, geez, I hadn't noticed Tesla just went from, what, 291 to 204. That's a hit. That's, that's, that's a major hit. That's, and, and that's slightly a hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Tesla, Tesla's back to trading where they was in February of this year. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you see how weak that one looks. That almost looks like it's a good shorting opportunity. But, uh, you know, the, these companies may do some great things in the future. Maybe Alibaba, you know, he's got $23 billion. Jack Ma, maybe he'll go buy something. And a lot of these stocks may get propped up again next year. But for now, uh, just definitely be careful because uh, a lot of things are not looking too good. Sure. Now, cybersecurity, right? Uh, that is on the radar each and every day, it seems, right? Well, it's interesting. And this company, I definitely would recommend everybody should keep on their uh, on their, their radar and on their watch list. It's called Palo Alto Network. Yes. The ticker symbol is P-A-N-W. Look at that thing, Tom. Look at how tight it is. Right. And it, it's uh, it's uh, P-A-N-W, folks. It's trading out at 118.08. And there's no doubt this is, you know, it's interesting is that uh, I think it's FireEye, right? That people mention it in the same breath many times, but the, the P.E. structures are totally different. There's no doubt, you know. Well, and it's funny, you just have to see, you know, what we always talk about is who's the leader. Yes. You, know, you have a big dog and you got a little dog. And, right. I, you know, we want to go with the big one. Uh, you know, with all the security breaches, all of us have been at least not affected, but we've known about it. Home Depot, Target, and now, can you believe all that stuff that came out about Sony? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty intense, right? I mean, the emails and the, you know, the how much, how many salaries some of the actors made, some of the email comments that were a little disparaging. So cybersecurity is, there is no doubt, this is, uh, you know, something we're going to be talking about well into the future. No, and it's getting, it, it seems, you know, you know, it's amazing, is that, you know, years ago, it just started and it seemed like it was big then. Now it's just a monster. I mean, now it's expected, which is just unbelievable, man. I mean, it's just like, what day are you going to wake up and, you know, read your whole diary? <laughs> well, I know. That's, that's the thing that's amazing. It's, you know, we're, we, it used to be banks and identity theft, and now, it's, it's of course, it's just they're hitting everybody. Sure. If Home Depot can get hit, you've got to figure these companies, uh, you know, have decent security. So uh, I kind of, I, I, I watch Shark Tank, and Robert Hershevik, who's, who's, he runs a cybersecurity firm. Okay. It really talks about Palo Alto being one of the best in the space. And, and I, if which, you take a look, Now, which one is he? Is he the, the last guy? He's the last guy on the end. I know who he is. The, oh, he's a shop-looking guy. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's, the, he's the more well-dressed of the guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he's a great cute. show, isn't it, man? I like that show. Woman, yeah. That's a I, good show. You know what? I think it's great, too, because it, uh, it kind of shows they all have different personalities. Some of them are a little bit nicer than others. But yeah. I like the fact that they, uh, I mean, this is like pro-business in America. This is what America is all about is, you know, the small entrepreneur, not all of them are successful, but... Some of these ideas are cool, and some of them have done pretty well on the market. And I just, yeah, from a business standpoint, I just like to see the, the creativity that's out there. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, oil prices. We're at 55.34. What do you think? Oh, boy. I was looking at that today. I was, you know, here, so here's, I'll skip to the end of my notes and we'll, we'll go back right Okay. A, a break even point, according to a lot of our research, yeah. for half of the U.S. oil producers is. $55. Yeah. Serious business, right? We're, we're real close, and I don't know what's going to happen to a lot of these companies. Of course, this oil is hurting Iran, which some people may say that's a good thing in terms of them gearing up with nuclear devices, or if you want to get into that, it definitely is harder on, like, Venezuela, yes. Iran, these countries that are really counting on that oil money. Uh, for their economy, it's really tough. Yeah, there's no doubt. And what, you know, it's interesting. I read a couple of articles today, folks. And, you know, I've seen oil crash before. I was up in Alaska when oil went to $12 and, uh, no, $12.10 a barrel. Um, and it's interesting that all the, 
old oil wildcat as they're used to that. What is not used to it are all the, the shale producers. Uh, yeah. There's a couple articles today that a couple of these shale producers were basically sitting around saying, no, no, I'm glad it's in here and all that. They're crazy folks thinking it's glad it's in here. Trust me on this. This is, this is disaster. It's cash flow disaster much quicker than any of these companies really understand. You know. So. Well, and the thing about it too, Tom, is these companies are just, they were just, the fracking firms were just getting poised to, to really, I mean, they, they've done a lot of expansion in North Dakota and in West Texas. Sure. Now, analysts, okay, here's, okay, oil prices, let's talk about this. What sectors benefit? we got airlines, plastics, automobiles, uh, but low gas prices can shift vehicle sales into higher-priced SUVs and trucks, so sure. you can see a shift in that. But why are some of these sectors starting to have trouble? A lot of analysts see that thanks to the Federal Reserve's policies, there was a big Bloomberg article that said the Fed's near-zero interest rate policies have created a bubble in some of these energy companies' debt. If they default on some of these junk bonds, uh, that could be a real problem. Oh, yeah, and they're going <laughs> to. That's, that's, you get a destruction of, uh, you know, 40%, which we're at right now in oil, you're going to have... Uh some defaults, no, no, no two ways. So. Absolutely. So if, if they default, then what does that mean? Uh, if if West if West Texas Intermediate Crude finds a floor, uh, you know that that would be helpful. But right now we, we're not seeming to find a floor here, Tom. It, you know, we wake up and you think, well, maybe it'll take a bounce, and it seems to just be heading lower and lower. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Facebook. Well, this one's kind of interesting. You know, the market, because it's choppy, this one is actually holding up pretty well. So there's some positives and some negatives. What I like about it, the cup looks good. It's nice and tight. It's not wide and loose. Volume has been low. You, know, you take a look at that, the, the accumulation within the base. If it goes into a technical breakout, I just don't see that volume on the right side of the base the way you want to see it. And the our accumulation distribution rating, which... We monitor block trades that go in and out of stocks. Yes. It's a C, but we'd like to see it as an A. So there's Facebook reports earnings January 27th, so we'll, we'll have to see, but there's some pros and cons here. Listen, folks, don't forget, every Monday right here at 20 past the second hour, I'll run down from uh, Tigress, Amy Smith from IBD. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, Amy. You have a great week, safe week. Look forward to speaking to next week. Okay, I'll growl till next week. That's a beautiful thing. Wow! <laughs> Come right TFNN back. has just announced a special sale for the Gold Report for a limited time only. To celebrate the 660th weekly issue of Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, that's more than 12 years, TFNN is having a special one-time sale. Right now, you can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report. That's 14 months for only $600. We're offering Tom O'Brien's dynamic weekly newsletter at only $10 a week, half off the regular monthly price. By taking advantage of this special offer, you also get a signed copy of Tom O'Brien's Brian's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday and provides subscribers with Tom O'Brien's expert commentary on the industry, as well as detailed information on a variety of mining equities. This offer is valid for current or new subscribers, but is only good through this week and ends this Sunday, December 21st. Lock in the low rate of only $10 a week for The Gold Report by placing your order at the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening Opening call today by visiting TFNN.com.
We're told to follow our passion and everything else will follow. you are doing each and every day. Hi, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Perspectives contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the Dow Industrials finish down 99, NASDAQ off 48, S&Ps off 8.5. And, and as we do each and every Monday at 35 past the second hour with our man, Mr. Chad Coco from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Chad does the best option show on the planet, folks. It's right here at TFNN every Tuesday, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Now, we start live programming at TFNN 8 o'clock in the morning. We go from 8 to 6 live programming. We replay that programming. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone. TFNN.MOBI gets you the audio. If you want to get the Tiger TV, audio plus the video, all the charts, just go to TFNN.com, hit the Tiger TV in the top right-hand side, you'll get it all. If you haven't test drove the Think or Swim platform yet, as you're at TFNN, you'll see the banner on the top on the side, hit that banner, you can bring up the platform, they will let you trade with paper money when you get, get used to it. I use this each and every trading day, whether I'm trading options, futures, commodities, or our currencies, okay? It's all on one platform. It's an outstanding platform. Chad, what's going on? How's it going? Well, we've had some volatility, man. That's for sure. Holy cow. Uh, and the, the, the volatility index today, you're talking about wide price spread, folks, went from 1777 to 2483 back to 20.42. I mean, uh, people are, uh, well, it's, it's hard to tell whether they're putting on protection right now uh, for what they have, or putting on protection, uh, well, not necessarily protection, they're just trying to make money that they're looking for a larger downdraft. Right, it's speculating on that, it's hard to say. Yeah. We did see that thing shoot up almost 80% last week, which was ridiculous move in just one product. That is just, a, there, is, there is no doubt. And what happens, folks, is that as that moves, 
insurance is getting more expensive. That's, what, that's the easiest way to basically cut to the chase as to what's going on. And the real key is going to be, of course, uh, you know, and Chad, today how Europe got hit. I mean, we didn't get hit at all compared to what Europe got hit. Folks, in Europe, you had the FTSE off 1.8%. The DAX was down 2.7. You know, bottom line, our S&Ps were only off 0.6 of 1%. Um, I think professional money managers, no doubt, are looking at that. I, I was looking at that in the morning. I thought, I says, this is amazing. We're up. And folks, when we were up 100 points prior to the market open, you know, the future points, the bottom line is that Europe was flat. And then as soon as we open, it's like Europe's tanking. And I'm saying to myself, man, the people are going to watch this and say, get out of the way. Yeah, they ain't not understand it here either. Exactly yeah. the same thing. Same with the oil. Oil keeps on going down overnight. Like every morning I come in, I'm like, oh, my God, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> no, there, there's no doubt. And, you know, that we have that oil right now at the 5535 level, folks, okay? Um, and, you know, I've been talking, Chad, it's at, the, it's at the highs right now of the lows of 2008, that low bar. And, mm -hmm. you know... My take, you know, if we go into that for another 4 or $5, guess what? Maybe it's going to be $32, $33 oil, which is absolutely going to blow people's minds, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? Well, it, yeah, it's hard to say. So that's bringing down the energy sector, but it, in turn, it's giving more money in our pockets, so consumer spending should go up with that. So see how that affects the market. I, there's, there's no doubt. And, you know, you know what's interesting? I, over the weekend, I was doing some Christmas shopping, and I found that it's, there's going to be some huge divergence, folks, uh, in these retail shops uh, after the new year. Because what it seemed, and I'm just, this is a fundamental basis, but what it seemed out there is that you had plenty of shops that were not getting business. And then there were a couple that were getting all the business. I was saying, whoa, this is a different dynamic altogether, you know. And I get, a lot of it's going to have to do with what they can do online. But there's definitely a lot of dynamics that are happening at the same time out here. So when we do get, uh, you know, in, in Chad's show, folks, tomorrow, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time, get it right on your cell phone. So when we're coming into the end of the year, well, here, now let's talk about this. This gets intriguing because I've had a couple different folks call me the last hour. And specifically what it was about, uh, they were, you know, one was looking for uh, basically a call uh, on the gold market. Another one was looking for a, a put on the S&P. And... In both cases, Chad, right, they were into the January ones. And I said, well, you know what? You really have to be a little careful here because we're coming into, what, you're coming into Christmas week, Hanukkah week, and then you're coming into January. Even though it seems like you're a long way out, there's going to be a lot of premium destruction in between those, right? Um, most definitely, yeah. So even even with the numbers, so we have Fed numbers, or not really numbers, but uh, yes. announcement coming out what they're going to do on Wednesday. So that's... The volatility of that that you're paying so much extra for. So just going a long call, a long put right yeah. now, you're paying so much more just for that uh, in terms of what numbers are coming out and the market flying around. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't look at something that that close um, or January. I could look either closer or farther out. Yeah, that, that's what I was bringing up because what, ha what, what seems to happen, and I wasn't even thinking about this Wednesday because this Wednesday, folks, that will throw some volatility into the market also because there's plenty of views uh, and that have been up there for a long time that interest rates are supposed to go up. Well, the bottom line, folks, is that <laughs> they haven't gone up. Um, you know, we'll see uh, how the Fed uh, looks at this. But when you go across the world, just the, just, you know, right now, Europe is falling apart, and France is still at eight tenths of one percent, and Spain is at one point seven. It's like so they're lending money to Spain for ten years at one point seven, and we're two point one. When you look at that, folks, that means that's insane. That's like insanity, meaning that our rates we are, we're paying more money than they're paying, yet their markets are tanking and they're broke. So, right. oh, pretty amazing, it really is fun world out there oh yeah and listen man you know you know it's amazing even if i wasn't a technical guy just looking at those numbers there every time you know it's like okay that this totally makes sense that our rates have to come down not go up you know because why would they go up you know you, you get basically rates that are getting their their euro is flat compared to our dollar now the euro has, has taken a beating though the rates the, the structure is like okay who's basically lending them money. And that isn't even, folks, with 
this oil destruction happening. And I remember in 1998, if you don't remember this, folks, don't believe for a second that contagion can't start taking place. You know, um, it, it's going to be really intriguing to see how this works out. Because I remember the contagion in 98, the way it started was, it started in Indonesia. And then all of a sudden, it, six weeks later, it turned and spread into Russia. And then, that, then it was all she wrote. Because long-term capital was basically uh, long versus short bonds. And guess what? There's, there's problems out here now uh, in Russia, in Venezuela, that very well uh, could be the credit markets inside those structures as to who is holding the bag here, you know? So, so when we go into the end of the year, uh, is there any special thing that you like to do in the option market going into the end of the year, Chad? Uh, not really. I, I try to trade the same way regardless of the time of year. Okay. Uh, we notice just historically, if you look at like a, a seasonality of the market, the market tends to turn around. So it usually drops coming up to like right where we're at right now. Okay. Generally speaking, not anywhere near as much as it has uh, the last couple of weeks. And then right. it tends to level out and maybe climb back up going into the new year. Yes. Um, so maybe try to take that and play that a little bit. I'm going to wait till Wednesday to see what those numbers are before I start putting anything of any kind of size on, though. Sure. Right. Listen, folks, tomorrow, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. Hey, you know, in Chicago this morning, I was watching the weather. It's pretty amazing. You guys were warmer than it was in Tallahassee. Not, not us and you know, we, we're a lot more south than Tallahassee. But I guess you were 42 this morning. Tallahassee, Florida was 30, 36. Yeah, it was 50 degrees yesterday. It was wonderful. How cool is that, man, right? I'll take it. Okay, man. Listen, you have a great night, safe night, and, of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. You as well. It's great talking to you. Okay, thank you. Bye. And, folks, as you're over at TFNN, uh, what you're going to see right on the front, on the front page, you're going to see uh, 60 for 600. What that's all about tomorrow is the 660th edition of the Gold Report. We have a special that's going on right now. You get it half price. Uh, six D editions for six hundred dollars, ten dollars an edition. Uh, if you do take advantage of this special promotion, what you also get is the my book, The Art of Time in the Trade, the Ultimate Trading Mastery System. You get an autographed copy of that. That is a eighty-eight dollar value. Let's go to Lonnie in Tampa. Hey, Lonnie, what's going on? Hi, you there, Lonnie? Nope, he's not yeah, there. I'm, I'm oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, I was going to stroll into Bel Air Coins tomorrow with a big bag of money and buy physical gold. What am I getting? Explain to me the premium I'm going to pay on either Cougarans or Maple Leafs or, um, yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, so check this out, folks. This is pretty cool. So he wants to go to Bel Air Coin, and that's Jay and his brother and his father, and they're outstanding. And that's the place to go. I'd call them first and ask the premium, because this is what's going on. Gold's down $29 today, okay? The premiums, when gold goes down this fast, this is what, and this is how you can actually tell where gold's going to go also. The premiums actually probably went up because no one will sell gold. That's how this thing shakes out. When gold is at higher, like when gold was at 1900 there was a $3 premium. When gold's down here, you're t normally talking $35 or $40 premium. Just call them in the morning. Uh, the Cougarans, I don't believe you get a premium at all, Lonnie, okay? That'll be flat. The Maple Leafs will have a premium. The Eagles will have the biggest premium. Do you, do you recommend the Eagles? Yes. And, the, and I'll, yeah, stay right there. I'll explain when we get back. You stay right there. We'll come back. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Each and every time that the dollar ticks higher, S&P wants higher price. Each and every time that the dollar's ticking lower, guess what? S&P wants lower price. Dollar, the metals, and the S&P are going tick for tick. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, the, the Dow finished uh, down 99, NASDAQ off 48, S&P's off 9.5. We're talking about Lonnie from Tampa, and he's asking about what the premiums would be. Hey, Lonnie, I actually just I had a chance to call him uh, during the break there, and these, oh, thing, these things are expensive, man. Uh, so the premiums on the Eagles right now are $65. The yeah. Pre yeah. The premium on the uh, the Maple Leafs are fifty dollars, and the premium on the Kruger ends are forty dollars. That, and that's really. Well, you said, yeah, you said they wouldn't be much on the Kruger ends. So look, and I, I'm I'm going in with a shovel because I'm in a hole to begin with when I buy them. Isn't that correct? Uh, that would be correct. 
That would okay, be correct. So you don't, you don't, two different things end up happening. You don't want to be buying physical coins unless you're going to keep them for two or three years, number one, okay? Because what, just as I just gave you those prices, right, that is a big premium um, in the context of where we are right now, okay? Um, you know, so there, it's not something you want to be trading with. That's, that's the bottom line. Okay, so if I call Glenn Beck's company and the deal with them out in Santa Monica, California, should I check what their premium is and see if it's half that? You would absolutely check what everyone's premium is. Right. Right. And, and pick the lowest. Are they obligated well, to buy Well, not necessarily hold it. Just, just make sure. What you want to do is this. Don't necessarily take the lowest premium. You want to make sure that whatever company you're dealing with, right, that you check out the company, okay, before you send them any bread, period, okay? And then you do that, that's fine, okay? But I think what you're going to find uh, is we happen to be uh, in Clearwater, Florida, folks, and Bel Air Coin is one of the largest, and my take is one of the not only the best, but they, he works with the least amount of spread. So if he told me that's what they were right now, I think what you're going to see is that you're going to call these other places, and they're going to be pretty close to it, or maybe more than it. So just make sure you get the okay. same thing. That's all I'm saying, okay? Okay, but, but, but in three years, and when gold's sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars, they have they're obligated to buy these back. Why? Well, I, I bought them from them. Isn't there a contract I signed that says you must buy these back? Man, that, what school did you go to? Um, I went to PS22 in Brooklyn. PS22, well, man, that, that doesn't happen in any market, okay? Have you ever bought anything that they tell you you're going to buy it back? No, that's not how the gold market goes, man. That's, that's the bottom line. No one has to... Listen, check this out. This is a great question you just said, and this is something that you should absolutely understand, folks, in life. Buying something is very easy. Selling it is not. Oh. Always. Always, always, well, always. The reason that people... Well, you, just gave, you just gave four reasons why not to buy physical gold. Price premium, can't sell them back, and, um, and I have no experience. And I, I, I graduated well, from PS42. That's, that's perfect. Then. Don't buy it. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Keep your cash, man. Cash is good. There's nothing wrong with cash. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And what happens, folks, is this. And this is important to really wrap your head around. The liquidity in gold is there, but no one has to buy them. Guess what? No one. Zero, zero, zero. No one has to buy anything from you, okay? Don't ever think someone does have to buy anything, okay? Because that isn't how it works. What does happen... Well, here, I'm going to stay with the gold market for a second. Because, see, gold got smoked out here today, but guess what? What also happened is this, is that the most amount of contracts were bought all of last week inside the commodities report that... And that is what that's saying is that larger institutions are piling into gold right now on the way up. Okay, uh, what we had out here is they did fast price destruction, no volume in the deal, and uh, you know we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, when you look across the world, what you have is that you have currencies that are absolutely getting destroyed. Inside that context, well, here I'll bring it up. Watch this tonight, but just bring it up even inside the uh, GCG five. When I bring this up in foreign currencies, what you're going to see is that uh, the amount of money that folks have actually made inside the gold market in correlation as to what happens, what has happened with their currencies. You know, if you happen to be in the euro, well, guess what? We just went from 910 uh, up to 999, and right now you're at 957. Uh, that's about what, 10%. Uh, forget. If you're talking about, let me see if I can get the ruble up here quick. Um, R U B. Where is U? Well, bottom line is that um, what I, I, you, I've read a few different stories in Russia. Specifically, what's going on is that everyone's buying cars because what has happened is that the ruble's going down so quick they haven't raised the price of cars that dramatically as fast. So you take your rubles, you buy a car, at least you have something that is hard, hard asset. I suspect the same thing is happening in the, inside the gold market. Uh, bottom line is that you have, what gold is all about is storage of value, insurance, and liquidity.
You know, as I, I said to Lonnie that no, no one has to buy it. There's no such thing as that. Uh, but what you do get is that that price of gold, that 1193.60, that's what it's worth. You can most times walk into any place that makes a market in gold and bottom line, they'll buy a gold and they'll buy the gold at that price. Uh, so if you are buying gold, silver, make sure that whoever you're buying it off, uh, number one, when you give them money, make sure that uh, you get your gold in return. The, th the, the sweet thing is about, uh, if you happen to be in Florida, of course, uh, you can go to Bel Air Coin and, uh, you know, Jay, his father, uh, his brother, uh, he got a good crew down there. That's the bottom line. Uh, the, the spread's, though, big. That's, that's a big spread. And what that has, what likely has to do with is the volatility inside the market right now. Because picture something. When you take a look at uh, the gold contract in general, uh, what we have had is that each and every day you're talking about uh, yeah you're talking about forty to fifty dollars in volatility. Today we had uh, eleven ninety one to twelve twenty five. You know, so you had thirty five dollars in volatility uh, inside that inside that market. So that is a, a buy sell spread is a premium because if they're holding inventory, the key is is that if that inventory goes down, of course, that's when they're going to get hit. You know. Market-wise out here, this is what you have happening. S&P, down on volume. You're at 18, uh, 1989 right now, and 1820 is the number, folks, okay? If you're a long-term holder in this market, get your stops in. Uh, just go look at the FTSE. Go look at the DAX. Those are, they're, they're already at the October 15th swing points. We're on our way to those swing points. Now, always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it. Fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Safe night. Look forward to speaking out right here tomorrow. Real! Go get them, folks. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com.